Hey guys, I missed you. I missed all 44 of you guys. <laughs> oh. Ow. I'm not mad, just please come back. If you're like me, you subscribe to a &E, and you might have seen this little gem show up in your sub feed. It's called Billy the Exterminator, B Relocation. I was intrigued. Let's get into it. Hey, Billy, we got some bees you need to go take care of. It's one of our customers, and she's trying to renovate a house. And one of these bees stung her in the eye. But the kicker to this whole thing is she wants the bees removed, but not killed. Don't hurt the bees. I called Vexcon because we have a major bee problem that's invading the backyard. Don't hurt the bees. My office also told me you expressed an interest in trying to have the bees removed without killing them. I love bees. Don't kill the bees. It was really important to me to find a way to save the bees. And that's one of the things I really liked about Vexcon because they are kind of with me, pro-saving things when you can. What I love about Billy is that he is just so pro um, not killing things. He's an exterminator, but that's misleading. Bees are great for the environment. They help pollinate crops, flowers, and make honey. And with the bee populations on the decline, I'm happy to save any hive I can. Don't kill the bees! My marriage with my wife, Pam, was in big trouble. I, get, I must have missed something, but I feel bad. You no, know, we've been together five times and apart six. I don't know this guy, but it sounds like he's having some troubles. She wants to be with me. You need to move on. Well, I'm not going to, Mother. This is a little, this is a lot going on right now. This is a lot. What's wrong with She's you? gone. Okay, well, they're already broken up. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm gone. She's just moving out as we speak. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry about that. Oh, that is so awesome. That is the best news I think I've ever heard. Oh. This here is a smoker, and it starts to disperse a smoke that calms the bees down and allow me to cut the walls open and not get stung so many times. <laughs> Billy's beekeeping gear was a little bit non-traditional. I know that my beeware may be unconventional, but it is practical. I wear a hat to keep the bees from stinging me in the head, a mask for covering my face, the goggles for my eyes, the trench coat is leather lined with rubber, man. They cannot get through that. See how this goes. It's a little unconventional, but it is practical. Damn it! Oh, damn! Kind of. I don't think I washed these. The bees were buzzing so loud. They're pretty pissed. They looked like they just did not care. Look at them. They're like, okay. <laughs> I don't know what you put in that smoker, but it worked. I was covered pretty well, except my eyes and nose. Some honeybees got in there and stung me in my face. He got stung? He literally knew. He knew that she got stung in the eye. One of these bees stung her in the eye. And he's gonna leave his eyes vulnerable? Like, dude, they already know. Damn it! Oh, damn! She's gasping because she's like, Oh, don't hurt the bees. She's not concerned about Billy at all. <laughs> Billy, no, the bees! I had one bee get through my armor and uh, stung me in my right eye. Yeah, I saw that from inside. <laughs> You're pretty pissed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load the bees up, haul them off to Hummer and Son Honey Company, and they're gonna use the bees to produce honey. How cool is that? That's Great. awesome, man. They can continue to make honey and, and just do better things than, than just to kill the bees for sake of killing them. Just so everyone is aware, the bees were already fine. He didn't save any of them. He relocated bees. He could say that. You didn't save any bees. <laughs> you put the bees into danger. You brought a saw to their home. And then you're gonna come out and say you saved them. Okay. I don't think the bees were in danger when you showed up, but they probably felt like they were in danger when you pulled a saw out. You were able to save them though, weren't you? Yeah. Tell me you saved the bees, right? Yeah. I saw you swatting at the bees. You're pretty pissed. Did you kill the bees? Yeah. I'm really glad Billy killed the bees. I f***ed almost 13,000 bees. Oh, hey Billy, how you doing? Doing good, Billy. What'd you bring us today? I got thousands here for you. You know, these bees that you're bringing to us will make us some pure honey. No, I don't believe that. 
Is that real? I don't believe that. That was probably the stupidest thing I've ever Googled. There isn't even a yes or no, they're just like, Bees make honey? So today, I'm proud to say I saved one colony of bees. It was hard work, but it was totally worth it. Hey, Mr. Hey, Bailey. How you doing, man? Pretty good to see you again. Man. Nice seeing you All again. All right. My name is Calvin Bailey. I have some skunks. Watch out for skunks. Skunks are primarily carnivores, but they'll eat anything laying around. Skunks are like the number two carrier for mammals of the disease rabies. Have you ever heard of rabies before if it looks aggressive and it's got foaming at the mouth you can easily tell that it's rabies but sometimes the animal will look fine no 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 they can even have rabies as i continued my inspection i saw a hole underneath the shed you never know what you'll find inside a hole i do see a little activity right here oh damn I see a little bit of activity, so let me put my hand in there. You never know what's in a hole until you put your hand in. I do see a little activity right here. You see that burrow right there going up underneath this shed right here? Luckily, the hole was empty. Oh, it was empty. That could easily be a skunk entry point and exit point. After inspecting Mr. Bailey's backyard, I know where to place my trap. Now I just gotta set it, bait it, and wait. Then you have to make a trap. I got a lot of baits I can use. I got jelly, peanut butter, cash. Cash? Cashews, but I oh. think I'm gonna choose for this job beans. I'm gonna set a trap by the shed. All right, now for the secret ingredients. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Ooh. I need to update Mr. Bailey on what I've done. Watch out, I put beans like all over the place. I just like opened up a can of beans and just like threw it everywhere. So watch out for the beans. There's a lot of beans. Appreciate it. Okay, man. Hey, Billy, it looks like we caught a skunk. Oh, cool. Yeah, so if you can run over there and pick that baby up, that'd be great. All right, Mom, I'm heading over. I don't know if the skunk's got some dangerous disease like distemper, hepatitis, or even rabies. The disease rabies. So I'm gonna have to be extra careful when approaching this guy. Remember, they can blast their spray up to 10 feet. All right, I wanna see this, but I'm gonna stand back here. <laughs> that would be smart. <laughs> Yeah, just stay back there before I blast you. They start stamping their front feet like this and that tail goes up like that, you're in trouble, run. Skunk spray is a strong smelling musk that the animal secretes from anal scent glands when it feels threatened. Same. Stay cool, man. All right. I've made it out without getting sprayed. Now I just gotta load him up. Coast is clear, all right, throw it in the truck. <laughs> Mr. Bailey, I appreciate you, man. You're crazy. You can't be right in the head to do this work, I tell you. I came here to Cypress Zoo where Doc Morgan will help me figure out the best plan of action. I got him right back here. Okay. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Why is this skunk covered in beans? It smells like beans. Not a baby, but not a complete adult. Same. Well, thanks, Doc Morgan. I think uh, this little guy's in good hands. Thank you for bringing him. We'll take care of him. Bye, little fella. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'm on the road to a million subs. I would love for you to be my 44th. And right now, I am at, oh, times 100. It's a percentage. 0.0043%. We're almost there. And I don't have an outro, so. Bye. Oh man, I don't think I washed these. Oh. Oh. Uh.